and welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. As you can see behind me, our sheep farm is uh, very productive. I've had to disable it because I've got double chests full of all these colours that you can see marked. Brown, blue, light blue, yellow, red. Um, what am I doing? I'm all over the place, aren't I? <laughs> Yellow, red, black, grey, uh, light grey and white. All fully stocked up. Today, we're going to go on a little never adventure. We need some... I, I need. It's about time I got some wings, isn't it? I need some wings. But before I can get those wings, I need to do some other stuff. I need to... Get some blaze rods, so that's probably going to entail building a blaze farm. I need blaze rods because I need a uh, blaze powder for brewing. Um, I also need it so I can create some eyes of ender. I've already got um, a shed load of ender pels from uh, random killing endermen and buying them from my um, lovely traders. Uh, so we've got plenty of pills in stock, so I need to get loads of um, loads of um, the Eye of Enders made up. I'm going to need those to find the fortress that will then contain the chamber. Um, and we'll probably need some spare ones as well, because there'll probably be only one or two at the most in place. So uh, I, I want to get myself plenty of those. Um, so I don't run out because you know what they like. You throw them in the air and uh, more often than not, they, they break. So, yeah, I want to make sure I've got plenty of those. Um, I'm also going to need uh, magma cream. Um, so I need plenty of that. And the reason why I need that is so I can create lots of uh, fire resist pro uh, potions uh, for... You know, for dangerous adventures in the Never. Um, so yeah, I've got a, got a lot planned. Um, so I think we need to get to the Never. Let's yonk some milk before we go, because milk is good to um, get rid of that wither effect. Because I want to be fighting some wither skeletons as well. Because I want to collect some wither skulls. You know what I need those for? Oh yes. Let's go! And here we are. You might remember this place from last time we was here. Uh, let's deposit this milk. I've already got a, quite a bit of stuff in here um, in preparation for what's going to be happening and what's going to be done. Um, Oh, I'm, I'm going to keep some milk on me. I want to just put some in here for spare, I think. But I need to take some with me for storage at, um, at a fortress when we find one. So the next task now is to go looking for a fortress and possibly even a bastion. Who knows? but definitely need a fortress because then we can find a blaze spawner and get a little blaze farm built. So let's go. Now, if I remember rightly, um, I did may start venturing over somewhere. I didn't go that far, but I think I've got some um, scumpuses. <laughs> you know what they are, schism and compass um, in place. So I think I'm going to go that direction and go as far as I can. And hopefully um, we'll find what we're looking for. And we've found a magna cube already. So let's let's take care of this little blighter before we um, before we get going on our little journey. Because we need lots of uh, magna cream. So as many of these things as we can kill is going to be all good fun. Oh, they don't half whack you, don't they? Can you hear that smack when they smack you? Wow, oh my gosh! <laughs> Who'd have thought these little things? Wow, so much pain. Wait, let's see. Can we... No, we can't. But 
we've got some magna cubes already. Right. Yeah, so let's get going. Why is the never so scary? I oh, goddamn hate the never. However, we've managed to, in this short time, we've managed to get a few bits of bobs. We found a golden apple from a broken portal and a gold block there. Killed some gas. Oh, you should have seen it. It was glorious. I knocked his fireball straight back at him. Anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, still no sign of any bastions or fortress. I mean, bastion would be nice, but I'm not going to do anything with that. Just uh, just make a note of it, basically. Um, the fortress is the important thing, because we need to get the... Uh, we need to get a blaze spawner sorted out, but... Yeah, look at this. I've just built a single, uh, a single file never rack bridge across this lava. So, yeah, let's get pushing on. Okay, we found a bastion. It's still not a fortress, but you know we can keep note of this and come and investigate it at some point. I've heard there's lots of gold blocks to be had here. Onward and forward. Let's get canning. Oh, and like I said, look, there's some gold blocks there. Ah, look at those idiots down there. They won't know what's it done when I come a-visiting here again. Okay, so we eventually found a never fortress. I haven't really explored it yet, but what I have done is built a nice little base and a nice little blaze farm. Now, this blaze farm is based on probably lots of different blaze flames, but... Uh, bla blaze flames? <laughs> A blaze farm. It's a blaze farm. That is what it is. Now, this one, um, I did watch a, a tutorial, and this is quite an, an easy one to make. So it's mainly based on an idea from um, a YouTuber called Gamer Franks. I'll leave a link to the description so you can go and watch the tutorial yourself if you want to build this nice and easy blaze farm. I, I say nice and easy. I mean, it still took a while to build, but... It is really good, and it really works. I mean, look at what we've got so far. Yeah, it's looking good. So, let's just kill a few of these. And what I'll do is I'll show you how I've built this. Um, I've kind of used some of the design, um, what I've done in the overworld with the, um, you know, the glass tunnel monorail type structures. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Let's just uh, let's just clear these out and we'll uh, take a little look around so you can see where we're at. Okay, come on. So, so yeah, so a nice little safe area here and even safer here. Nice iron door there. And here's a little tunnel leading to the entrance. Some chains along the top. And some chains down each side. I think it just makes it look look that little bit a uh, little bit nicer. So just walk out of here, and there you can see the uh, see the blaze farm. All that lovely lava in there. There's the spawner. You can see the spawner there. There's our little tunnel that goes across. So, yeah, so I'm just going to spend some time getting a, a load more um, blaze rods and then we can head back to the overworld. So I'll catch you in a moment. OK, we've been here quite a while now. Uh, I've got quite a lot of stacks of blaze rods built up. Built up my XP levels up to 55 at the moment. So I think it's about time... We went on a wither skeleton hunt and see if we can. I've got one skull there. Let's see if we can uh, let's have a, go and have a look, see if we can find some more. And have a little bit of an exploration. We also need some um, never water as well, don't we? That would come in handy. So, yeah, let's go and do some exploring. I see a skelly. Should I shoot him or should I fight him? Oh, God, there's a blaze there. There's two blazers there. Go away! Oh, no, I'm running out of arrows. Oh, 
Oh, look at all these blazers here. Oh no, I've run out of arrows. Gosh darn it. Oh, he's withered me. What a nasty little bugger he is. Gosh damn. <laughs> Retreat. Retreat. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Oh, that went too bad. Got milk on me anyway, so... And I brought some spears with me. But I need arrows. Ah. Spawned. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we want him, don't we? Come on, Mr. Wither Skelly. Come and get some. Come on. Come on. I want your skull. I want your head. Come on. This way. Follow me. Come hither. That's right. You keep coming. You follow me. There's a good boy. Come on. This way. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what did blaze there? Why am I attacking him with a blaze rod? Because it's a blaze. Die. <coughs> Die. Die. Stop panicking. Kill him. Right. With a skelly. Oh, yes. That's what we want. Yes. Got another blaze rod as well. Let me go and take this blaze rod back to our chest. Found another blaze spawner. Uh, I think we best cap this one off. And I'm sure there's more around because these blazers, they're coming from all over the place, aren't they? I'm cold there, but... No, nah, not gonna... <laughs> Uh, am I? Nah, yeah, go on then. Let's go and get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Bit of gold, you know what I mean? Get it, uh, get some nuggies and then we can convert them into ingots and do some bartering when we're making our way back home again. I just need to fill that all in because uh, I'll leave that there because it's a little legend. It's so that's why I put the torch facing this way. I mean, there was a spawner there. But it's in dirt, isn't it? So if it's in dirt, then I know it's not pointing to the way home. If it's never rack, it's pointing to the way home. <laughs> what was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> die, 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 die. Not me, not me, you, you. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. I need a little break. Anyway, I was saying, if it's brick, then it's pointing to the base camp. If it's... Oh, and then another one. And if it's never rack, it's just pointing to the way home. And if it's dirt, it's pointing to something important, but not neither the way home nor the base camp. I hope that makes sense. I need to get deeper into here, don't I? Okay, okay. Let's gather our wits about us. There's no need to panic. Okay, we didn't panic. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, let me just get my wits about me. So as I'm exploring, I'm cordoning off the um, places where I've... Um, that either lead to nowhere or that I've been down and got whatever good is maybe down there. Um, I found a couple of chests, got a few things. Is it am I safe here? Let's have a quick look. So I found some iron. That was nice. Diamond! Getting loads of never wart. Uh, oh, some shroom lights. Yeah, that'd be nice. I need some more crying obsidian as well, though, don't I? I've got to get some more of that, so... Let's, uh, let's carry on with the exploring. Okay, I think it's time to go home. I've probably explored this whole fortress and got quite a lot of stuff from it. Even found a diamond, which is nice. Um, however, I think it's going to take a couple of journeys to get everything back with me. I want to take loads of blades rods back with me. Um, got two stacks in there. I might have to put those back in there and come back for the blaze rods. Because... There's all this stuff 
that I need to take. Some nice building material. I don't know what I'm going to build with it, but I think it might look nice when I build that, um, when I build my big house up on top of the hill. Remember, I want to live there. I want to live there. I do. <laughs> yeah, that place. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get all this stuff sorted out and get it back to the overworld. Oh, let's kill some more. Let's kill some more blazers first. Get a bit of revenge on all the damage that they did to me while I was exploring the fortress. Um, managed to get three wither skulls, but that's all I did get. I mean, I suppose it's not a bad return. I did kill loads of the um, little buggers, but yeah, I thought I might have got a few more, especially with um, looting on my sword. I thought I might have got a few more, but I got three. So that means we can spawn at least one with her at some point um so yeah let's uh let's get all this stuff back to the overworld okay so that was a pretty successful um journey into the never our never chest is practically full up now I managed to get another couple of with a skeleton skulls but i still need you know they are, you have a, need them in freeze don't you because three will spawn a um spawn a wither but I can spawn one wither at some point but yeah, got plenty of uh, got loads of blaze rods back, blaze powder, and what have you. So, um, as I say, we've got uh, I've got more gas tiers as well. Um, there's the ender pearls. There they are, ender pearls to turn into um, eyes of ender. So we need to make loads of those. So yeah, that's the uh, going to be the next thing. I need to get all prepared now, so I can make. Um, some eyes of ender and go hunting for that fortress is it called a fortress i think it is still called a fortress but is it it's called an overworld fortress i think but it has the chamber um which will take us to the end where we can sneak past the dragon because uh, i don't want to fight the dragon just yet maybe do that at a later time i just want to get some um shulkers and wings basically so yeah okay time to get prepared for that so here we are finally at the stronghold using the eyes of ender we found the stronghold which actually wasn't too far away from our base so that's nice about 500 blocks away i think but yeah i've done a bit of um exploring around and grabbed a few bits and bobs and cordoned off a few spaces so i know not to go there again um and yes i destroyed the silver fish spawner because you know it's one of those things it had to be done but look at that behind me but there was not one single ender ender um, eye of ender in there so it's just as well i did have 12 in supply in surplus to put in there so yeah that's good but oh we need to get prepared before we go in I really hope I've made adequate precautions and and brought all the things and all the stuff that you know that we're going to need for this. Uh, got some golden apples there, you know they could come in handy. Um, I've got some fire resist potions in there. I'm not really sure why I brought those. Um, I mean, it could come in handy for something. I think I was thinking of more of the never with um, that, but. As you can see, I've got the Enchanted Book of uh, Unbreaking, Enchanted Book of Mending, and an anvil for when we find our first wings. Plenty of rockets there in the in the end of chest too. Uh, so that's be the first thing we do once we find our wings, get mending and unbreaking on it, and then see if we can find um, at least an, an, another set, maybe two sets uh, of spare wings. That would be nice. But yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs here. Uh, bucket of milk um <laughs> milk always comes in handy if you get uh, uh if you get withered i think uh the milk will uh, negate that withered effect so that could come in handy but yeah um i i, I kind of feel like i'm uh, i'm i'm putting it off now i'm i'm kind of kind of divering a bit on oh yeah potion of slow falling um that will definitely come in handy you know what those um shulker boxes are like for or, or should i say those shulkers 
what they're like for attacking you with those uh, bombs that make you just start floating up and up. So a bit of potion of slow falling should help with that, assuming um, assume they can't find somewhere with a roof on to uh, wait there while, it, uh, while the effect wears off. But, yeah, I think... I think I've I've covered just about everything that I can think of. So I think we um I think we should be making our way there. Shall we go? Go on, jump in. I don't wanna I don't wanna go. It's scary. No, I do, I do, I do wanna go. But we've got to make sure we sneak past that dragon because we don't want to be fighting the dragon just yet. All I wanna do, I wanna get the wings and get any other goodies. Uh, wings and shulker boxes are the priority. And any other resources I can pick up, that'd be fine. So, shall we go? Are we going? Are we going now? Mm, let's just have a quick check. Double check. Oh, have I set my spawn? Do I need to set my spawn? I think I might need to set my spawn. Quick, where's my bed? There it is. Right, let's just quickly set, set spawn here. Okay, <laughs> let's quickly go to sleep here. But either way, we've set the spawn. So, here we go. Here we go. What's that? Did you hear that? Nah. Yeah. Sure, there's something down there. That's why that uh, block of dirt's there, blocking the blocking it off. Don't want any surprises. Anyway, stop differing around. Come on, we've got work to do. Let's get to the end. Let's sneak past that dragon. And let's go get our wings. Come on. What's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's just stick one or two of these um one one or two of these potions in here cuz you know, it's probably a good idea to have them in in the inventory and near the hot bar but enough different, enough messing. Let's go. Hey, wait. Wait. What? What? What is this? I'm in an enclosed area. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's, it's absolutely brilliant because it's safe, but what? Surely this can't be right. How, how is this generated like this? But I've got four angles to where I can start um, where I can start digging out from and start making my tunnel. So I guess um, we just need to choose a direction, start going that, and uh, let's let see what happens because we need to sneak past that dragon. Okay, so I finally found our direction uh, to go out in, so it's time to start precariously bridging around. I mean, this is this is scary. This is one one silly mistake and could be into the void, and you know, that's everything lost and have to go back and prepare all again. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that strange? Why are they underneath as well? Is that like the Australia of the Ender or something? That's just um that's nearly as weird as the uh place that we spawned in when when we jumped through the uh jumped through the portal. Yeah, that must be Ender Australia. That's what I think that is. It's got to be. There's no other reason for it. Surely they or is it an illusion? Maybe it's an illusion. Maybe they're not really there. But oh, there's something there already. I can start to see something in the distance. But yeah, we need to need to get going, get going, and get, get exploring. Oh, and here we go! Look at this. Now, it looks looks close, but it looks far away as well. I mean, I just hope I can have enough blocks to be able to carry on bridging out there, because you know, if I if I run out of blocks again, that means I'm going to have to go all the way back and <laughs> get more blocks, but. We get in there. Um, I can see lots of islands. Can't see any cities or anything yet, but at least I can see uh, land ahead, land ahoy. So we need to make our way towards there, I guess. You are not fit for this game. Yeah, it happened. I had a moment. I fell in the void, died and lost everything. So, 
I had to had to have a little think about it. Am I going to spend a few hours, you know, recreating some of my weapons again and my armor, or whether to leave it and leave it till next episode? And I thought, no, no, we don't give up. That's not what we do here. We persevere. So I spent that time, built up a few things. Not everything I had before, but just got my my, my arm and my sword and bow and one of my picks and and, and my chopper, my choppity chopper. But hey, look, look over there. There's that bridge into it that uh, leads to the ice farm. But anyway, yeah, you can see the uh, schism and scumpuses. Um this is where I started digging my hole, and it's a very deep hole, but we've got a ladder to go down. So let's get back down there and uh, let's get back into this. Uh, it's a shame losing that stuff. It can be a bit of a downer, but, you know, just like, put it behind us and... Hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall off the ladder there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the... Yeah, a little chest here, not nothing in there, nothing that's gonna um nothing that's gonna help us in the end. We just need to get back there, don't we? And uh <laughs> start again, go again as it were. I mean I've got quite a lot of the uh the bridging done, but yeah, you can see I've um cordoned off uh, places here, places that I've already explored. Um I still think there's a, a few more spaces to explore here, you know. Um but it's not the biggest fortress. Um, it's quite quite small, really. I, I I was thinking, but you know, um, there still could be some um, uncovered mysteries in there. Line Ed, there's definitely a bookshelf uh, library place that I need to get all the bookshelves from. Uh, you know, chop all them down, get loads of books. Oh dear, but yeah, thank God I got got this ender chest that kept all that stuff safe. But um, yeah. It's you know it's just the way it works, the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? But hey ho, we live and learn. You know who who hasn't died to the void? <laughs> it has to be done. So let's get back. Okay, we've travelled a very, very long way. Uh, I had to um, stop and mine some more um, of these ender bricks, ender blocks, whatever they're called. Um, I needed a load more stacks of them, but we finally reached big land. And off into the distance over there, not one, not two, but three end cities. Uh, now, I don't know if they've all got boats. At least one of them has, has got a, a boat on there. So that's one guaranteed set of wings and, and the dragon head as well. <laughs> so that's the aim. We're going to aim for that middle one first, that one there. And uh, there's that one over there. I don't, don't think that's got a boat. And then there's another one just off to the to the left there as well. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's get heading over there and... Start mining some shulkers <laughs> and also um get our get our first set of wings. That is the that is the ultimate aim of this journey, of course. The, the wings. So we've arrived at our first city. Uh, I've just blocked off a few little area here so I can just set up a, a little bit of a, a, a base or HQ if you like. But now it's time to go end busting and end raiding. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the moment that we've been building up for and, and working towards our first set of wings. Yoink! Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. 
And we, of course, we're going to raid these chests. And, um, you know, I might probably just break the, both the chests up and take them as well. A few emeralds in there. Not that I need emeralds, but a few bits of spare, um, spare gear in there, you know, spare pick and some um, enchanted iron leg, an enchanted iron shovel. Well, you know, may, may as well take it because I can just get some use out of them, save, uh, save the wear and tear on my, uh, on my main tools. But yeah, and um, what we got in this other chest? Well, let's just yoink that first. But in this other chest, what we got? Golden iron. Uh, well, I've got infinite iron already anyway, but the gold will certainly come in handy. So it's all looking good so far. Now, what do I spy here? Could it be a dragon head? Oh, I've been wanting one of these beauties for a long time. But it's hazardous collecting these. So. We're going to need to build some stuff around it. Um, I mean, here's a few things that I've already collected from this place, but this it's all been building up to this, uh, <laughs> this dragon head. So we want to make sure that we're safe because we don't want to knock it off and then it go and fall into the void, do we? We want to pick it up as we knock it off this wall. So if we place a few blocks around the sides here and obviously we'll place one um underneath the actual head itself because that'll probably be the most important one like so just get it there and once we get that in place we should be all okay oh my god nearly had a blooming heart attack there thank god i'd already got my wings oh Talk about losing the dragon head in the in the void. Nearly lost ourselves in the void. Let's go and get this bad boy before anything else happens. We need this dragon head. <laughs> dragon head. We need this dragon head because we can do all kinds of fun things with this when we get it back to base. So let's just make it all nice and safe around here and make sure we yonk it off good and proper. Here we go. Safety first. Always safety first. And there we go. Yoink. That's a dragon head. We have one dragon head. We have one pair of wings. So, like I say, there's still those other um, two end cities to go and visit, and at least one of them has a boat. That one just over there does. So, we should be able to get another set of wings from there, as well as another dragon head, too. Um... I want to have a little bit of a munch, don't I? Just before we uh, set off over there. But yeah, you can see in the background, you can just make out the the, the boat over there and, and so on. It's quite far away, but we have wings so we can fly over there, which is nice, of course, because flying is fun, apparently. Eating is fun too. So let's get back to it. And we'll just take Dragon Head number two. Come to Daz. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Onwards for more good. Ooh, more potions of instant health. Don't mind if I do. We'll just yoink those. Thank you very much. <laughs> I see you down there, Mr. Shulker. Have you got my wings? We can't have that, can we? What we're going to have to do, we're going to have to take you out. But stop firing those air balls at me. I don't like them. Stop it. Behave. It won't take long for this to wear off. But you're gone now and I can get my wings. Wings number two. This is our second set of wings, guys. We're doing well now. So could do with getting another pair if possible. But let's just um, let's yoink these ones off. Off the wall. Just like so. Boing. We've got loads of good as well. Don't forget the end rod. <laughs> oh, a bit more gold. Gold is good. Gold is very good. 
We'll also um, take the chest as well because you can never have too many chests. And what we got in this other one? Diamonds! Now, I would call that a very successful adventure. So I've just laid out the shulker boxes so I can show you what we've got here. <laughs> Getting excited over these wings and dragon heads. So we've got a total of three sets of wings, one that we will be using, and obviously two, two spare ones. We've got three dragon heads, picked up a bit of um, some gold and some iron, um, some bits and pieces of armor, some enchanted and and stuff, some not diamond armor, uh, iron armor. Also got some um, end rods there. <laughs> I destroyed a few of these um, end cities just to get a few of the uh, paper blocks because they are quite nice. Um, but I could have destroyed even more and got even more blocks, which I probably will do at some point because um, I think they're nice blocks. And these end stone bricks can also be... Um, used for texturing in various builds, so I'm happy with those. And in the final shulker box, yeah, I've got a couple of pieces of horse diamond armor, 28 shulker shells, that'll give us another 14 shulker boxes, which I think shall uh, tide us over, at least for the, um, the short term, possibly even the long time, you know, but... It, it was fun, so, you know, I, I might have to do this again and go back in there and, you know, perhaps get another set of wings, but definitely get some more shulker shells, definitely get some more end rods, but, yeah, it's all looking good. I'm completely happy with that. Now, I know this episode has gone on a bit longer uh, than usual, but, you know, dying into a void and things, but, anyway... um. I've, I've had a name suggestion that I um, somehow managed to miss. So what I'm going to do is name one of these farmers um, because the farmers and the masons are the two most popular um, trades that I use. That You know, I, I, I make trades with these guys, these four guys, more often than any of these other ones. So um, I'm going to... The name up here, and the name is going to be Rosie. And this was named by now I can't pronounce um, the username, but I can certainly spell it. Um, I can try pronouncing it. Made by user ZL4ZPZ. D G Z but G, there. How did that sound? But all will become clear when we type it out. Um, it's quite a long username. This is actually. I hope I can get it all on. Z L four Z E seven D J seven seven G. I can't fit it all on. Um, I'm sorry about that. Just one character I can't fit on. But you know who you are. You know who, what what you've done. And you know you've named named this. So stand away from there. And you are now immortalized in the trading hall. Um, if anyone else wants to get immortalized in the trading hall, um, please remember to leave your name suggestions in the comments below. And I can tell you now that the next three comments will go to the farmer, the remaining farmer and the remaining two masons, which means your signs above here will be seen quite a lot in upcoming and future episodes. Um, so with that said and done, there was just one more little thing that I just wanted to show you. I've done a bit of a bit more decorating and I hope I haven't gone overboard with it so i've put a little step here cleared up so you can't see that uh dirt and grass anymore um i've put some chains um in here and used the blue uh soul lamps now uh we've put a decorative pot there there's uh there's nothing inside it um what else oh yeah there's another um lantern there soul, soul lantern there so that looks a bit nice, and, and just 
a slight decoration inside here so we've got double decorative pots here <laughs> that's pretty cool and in this decorative pot we have a plant pot with a little flower in it so yeah that's all nice so with that said i'm going to love you and leave you please do like and subscribe if you've not already done so and please do leave any comments in the comments below um all feedback is welcome constructive criticism is welcome thank you and goodbye